Hey guys, how are you guys doing? We're doing all right, how are you? I'm doing good. We missed an appointment just a little bit more than a month. When you guys were dealing with COVID, what's been going on? Got quarantined, so that slowed me down a whole lot. Okay, were you guys in the hospital? I was. How long were you in the hospital, Tammy? Nearly two weeks. I had pneumonia also. That's why I'm on oxygen. Okay. Seeing Tammy requiring oxygen after COVID is a little concerning. We know she already has some pulmonary issues and someone of her weight is already at high risk of pulmonary issues leading up to surgery. If she does lose the weight we've asked her to, more than likely she'll be able to come off that oxygen even before surgery. So how was your food choices during that time when you were pretty much laid up on the couch? Well, I'm sure I made a couple bad decisions somewhere along the way. Okay. Tammy, how do you feel like you've been doing with your diet? Not good. Not good? How come? I mean, I had lost the weight, but then COVID got me, and after I got out of the hospital, I just kind of gave up, and I don't know. The last time I saw Chris and Tammy, I gave them both a weight loss goal that I wanted them to reach before we meet today. To me, this is a little bit of a test to see their commitment towards surgery. When was the last time we weighed you guys? Was it at my office? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a scale there with you? Would you guys be able to weigh in for us today? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and step on the scale and see where you are. I weighed 397. I the last doctor's appointment with Dr. Smith. He gave me a weight loss goal of 15 pounds, which should put me at 382. I knew I was over. I'm upset about it because I know I could have done better. Bottom line is, while I was quarantined, I should have been cutting back more on eating, and I wasn't. So you're down six pounds from the last time I saw you. So in the face of getting sick, you were able to still get some weight off, and admitting to me that you probably made some poor choices when you were laid up. Yes, sir. Okay. I think what I would like to see from you is I'd like to see us get the rest of that weight off that rest of that 15 pounds off. You know, if we're down six pounds, you've got nine pounds to go. You're really close to getting that green light to go into surgery. Okay. I mean, it's disappointing that I didn't go ahead and lose the 15 pounds, but at least, you know, it's a goal to go ahead and make. Okay. You know, graciously, Dr. Smith gave me the same weight loss goal. He could have told me to lose another 15 pounds, but instead he told me just to finish out the 15 pounds I gotta lose. So basically it boils down to about nine pounds. I'm very determined to lose that because I don't wanna let him down. But more importantly, I don't wanna let myself down either. So Tammy, last time you weighed in at my office, you were 644 pounds. So let's see where you are today in comparison to the last time we weighed you. So we are 21 pounds higher than what we were last time, correct? Yeah. It's like, come on, girl, are you even really trying? Because if you were, I could understand a pound or two. But every time she steps on the scale, she has 20 pounds. 20 pounds. I'm like, damn. So pretty much I failed as a, you know, as a diet buddy. All right. So why do you think that is? I just wasn't doing what I needed to do too. I mean, sometimes I try to eat healthier, and then other days I'm like, what the heck's the point? So 
after you've made those bad choices? How do you feel? Even more depressed. Because I know I should sit there and eat it all, but I do. I don't know how to stop. Okay. That's honest. Not so much that you're hungry, but it's an addiction that you have of needing that food to fulfill maybe when you're down or sad or something missing in your life. I think that's maybe something that we need to talk about and deal with. Today, I was finally able to get Tammy to admit to me that she's not able to do what she needs to do. And she's admitting that it's really hard to stop eating. It's not just the issue of teaching Tammy what to eat and what not to eat, but I think we're dealing with a much bigger problem such as a food addiction. I'm really proud of you for the fact that you just admitted, I don't know how to stop, because that's the first step in asking somebody to try to help you learn to stop. You could have blamed you couldn't get out of bed, you could have blamed that you had COVID, and you could have blamed that you were in the hospital, and you didn't. And believe it or not, that's a step forward from where you've been in the past. So you just made progress even though your weight went up. Now, are we closer to surgery? No, we're not, and I think you know that. But are we closer to getting to the root of the problem so we can eventually get to surgery? I think in a, in a small way we are. I, my job is to find a way to motivate you to get you healthier. I know in the past, Tammy, you've talked to other people and you've been to therapy. Are you willing to revisit that for us? I guess, but by myself. I don't want to be with family. Okay. I guess this is the first time I've actually come out and admitted that I had a problem and I don't know how to fix it myself. I'm hoping that's something I can figure out with therapy help. All right, so Chris, next time I'll see you will be in about three weeks. And my hope is when I see you, you'll have lost the rest of that 15 pounds. And hopefully we can talk about some specifics of getting you to your surgery. Tammy, I think our goal right now is let's just work on getting back to where you started when I met you. So I'm going to set up a therapy session for you to start working on getting those pounds off to get back to where we started. Yes, sir. You guys take care and stay safe, okay? Thank you. With Tammy admitting that she has a food addiction and with the right help from a psychiatrist, I believe Tammy will succeed a whole lot more than she's succeeding right now. But I hope she puts up enough effort to do what it takes to make it happen. It's a, it's a really a serious do or die situation for her.